from what's soon to be a Southwest Airlines flight, but is now still Gold Coast. We're here for the title match of today's JBT Mojave Invitational Tournament. One order of business left, and that's the second half of our handicap finals. Marguerite Evans, who dominated triple elimination match play, going undefeated through the first seven rounds, now has two losses, but now only has one opponent. Oh, left facing her. That's Jafel Gafadi, the, the fanning one. The man of many fans. That's a stone cold bummer of a break for Evans here in the fifth as she struggled so far in this title match. 4 9 the shot before, uh, in the first frame. Something didn't go right in the third. Big forward on the other lane. They're bowling on two different patterns. This was the softer pattern as far as ratio. I don't think it's. A, whoops, a great wall anymore, and the great wall, she missed it twice. She missed it left and right. That's a double miss. Well, now it's only 50 through 5, so she trails by 46. The only good news in that is that she's getting some pins back, uh, 14 of them. Jafel has to win by 15, so when you add all that up, he's leading by 25. So it looks pretty nasty on the scoreboard right now, but there's a whole half game to fill in, and a tough competitor in Miss Evans to try and fill it in. Can you stick around for him? Yeah. So that's left lane is on a pattern called red square, which is dead flat. One to one ratio means the oiliest board is the exact same as the driest board on the fresh. So if you miss left, he's going left. If you miss right, he's going right. And after five games of qualifying and ten games of match play, it's not going to get any easier at this point for them. They just got to grind out marks if they can. Doesn't want to give another punch account to Jafel, and she does it. There we go. Marguerite finally won her first singles title earlier this year in El Paso. She had to go two time zones away to win that. She'd love to win another times, uh, singles title here in her own time zone from Beaumont, California, Jafel from here in Vegas. Uh-oh, teammate fight. Huh? You were ready to pop him right there. <laughs> he thought it was Wes. Body likes that one, as he should. Perfect shot in the right-hand lane. That's a big double for him right there. Don't give Margarita any Sniff for the comeback here. Two lower seeds, as sometimes happens in Triple Elimination. Jafel had a buy into the finals because he was in the top five in our season long points and has been brilliant since then. Lost early to Leanne Reyes and then lost to Espiritu in round five. Other than that, it's all W's. Thanks to the whole crew here at Gold Coast for hosting this big turnout. Playing for the big bucks. $1,000 for first place today. I have no idea what Jafel was wishing for that ball to do. He was hoping for that ball to go in a circular motion, I think. It's a strange request. Bowling balls don't do that. Are you leaving? Hey, no, I'll stay. Okay, good. Good basic fundamentals for him. Down and in kind of player. Hard and straight, but not hard and straight enough at the 3 6. Well, give him 121 or something. 120. How about 130? I am so tired, Paul. Give him 130 through 7. That was close. Margarita's done very little right, but she's within 25 pins. Not a lot of momentum. The crowd's gone. Everybody's exhausted. We finished up last night around 11 p.m. These guys are back on the floor at 9 a.m. today. Marguerite trying to squeeze the last little bit of gas out of the tank here. Get that, Brooklyn, dang it. Well, easy spare for. Fill this frame up and try again on the hard shot. Took a score of plus nine in the handicap division to make the top 11, plus the five bowlers who had those exemptions. Scratch is right around even as well. 
ordinarily cut would be much lower, but it was only 11 out of about 50 bowlers today, so 20% of the field made the cut as opposed to the usual 40. Also good fundamentals, cross lane in it, no trouble. You don't always have to stand left, put a zillion revs on it, and throw right, especially when they're tougher like this. All the power in the world is no good if you're not accurate. These guys don't have a lot of power, but they're extremely accurate. That seemed to pay the uh, bigger dividends today. Tour gets a rare week off next weekend and down to San Diego for their Invitational. Up to Seattle for their Invitational the week after and then wraps up in Phoenix. And there is the prettiest shot we've had since I hit the camera on. The camera of Doom claimed all victims with front nine or front ten today. Jared Walker had the best string of the day. And then Sergio Torres followed that up with an even bigger game. Walker finishing in fourth. This clown finishing up in third. Always happy to see him back from Shocker territory. Out of here? Yes. Hopefully. Are oh, you coming to San? Not coming to San Diego? Oh, you can't bowl invite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Check out the points after I put them up. See where you at. Right on. Sounds good. Of course. But fun weekend. A lot of talent walking around. The USBC Queens is going on right now, and about 30 of the tour ladies came over and watched us during a demo day. Well, that's a tremendous Brooklyn double for him right there. He'd prefer it been uh, on the right side, but it's an X on the scoreboard and it's a fan in the hand, so that's good news if you're Chappelle. <laughs> a unique personality. Two career titles prior to this, and he's one of the bowlers who have drawn the ace of spades. So he played Powerball for $5,000 earlier this year and got to the $5,000 shot. That was the single most exciting shot of bowling thrown this season on tour. It was a pin away from five grand. But he won 50. Now Evans tries to match Brooklyn for Brooklyn, doesn't get it, and that's going to be close to curtains. Well, we'll just have to send Marguerite to Texas every week and she'll be a 30 time titleist. But darn it. She'll take a $500 runner up prize. If she hadn't won in Texas and this was another second place in singles, this would have been absolutely miserable. And as it is, uh, not so bad. I don't know, I need to uh, turn my cell phone off or turn my seat back to a full upright and locked position. That rental car is not getting any gas in it. I hope I didn't drive it enough so they notice. <laughs> Miles. Come on, pre check. Come on, pre check. One time, pre check. I uh oh, it's late. <laughs> I'm charging the phone over there. 7:35 or something. Sunday night flights are never on time out of Vegas. This is gonna be the first ever on time flight out of Vegas. You better believe. Make that spare, Marguerite. I think that 4710 on camera. Get your two pins, Marguerite. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. All right, a tough effort there at the end. But she was fantastic all day long. She pouts on camera. Don't pout on camera. You just won 500 bucks. She's leaving. She's out of here. She gets a conciliatory hug. And another conciliatory hug. There you go. And uh, another conciliatory hug. I think, Jared, can you talk to them over there? I think you should all go out there and like fan him and congratulate him. <laughs> I'm serious, you should totally do this. Just go out there and just start fanning him. I can't, I wouldn't be able to hold myself together. You don't have to, that's the whole point, he won. You don't have to do it. Oh, 10 pin slides up, doesn't matter. There's your Mojave Handicap Invitational Champion. He says hi to all of his uh, uh, fans, and there we go. There it goes, one more fan on camera. 
Nice job for Jafel. He's a Red Rocker too, right? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Red Rock Dominus. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next two weeks out in San Diego to do it all over.